Pie Charts 1. In this nugget, the learning objective is to interpret pie charts. A pie chart is a type of graph where a circle is divided into segments that each represent a proportion of the whole. They are called pie charts because they look like pies, and each of the segment is like a slice of pie. A hundred people were asked what their favourite sport was. The results are shown in the pie chart. The question we need to answer is, how many people said that hockey was their favourite sport? In order to interpret the pie chart, we need to know how many people do each segment represent. It is easier if we can visualise the pie chart as a bar model. In total, there are 100 people and 10 segments. The size of the individual segments are all equal. So to find the value of each segment, we need to calculate 100 divided by 10, which equals 10. Now we need to look at the key. Hockey is represented by orange. There are three orange segments, so we need to multiply the value of each segment, which is 10, by 3. So the answer is 30. Now let's look at another pie chart. 240 people were asked what their favourite meal was, and the pie chart shows the results. The question is, how many people said that lunch was their favourite meal? Again, we need to work out how many people are represented by each segment. So there are 240 people in total. And this time, there are 8 segments. So we need to do 240 divided by 8, which is 30. From the key, we can see that lunch is represented by red, and there are 3 red segments. So we need to do 30 times 3 which is 90. 90 people said that lunch was their favourite meal. Now it's your turn. Use this pie chart to calculate how many children walk to school. Pause the video and have a go. So you should have identified that the pie chart represents 36 children in total. There are 12 segments, so to find the value of each segment, you should have divided 36 by 12, which is 3. The number of children that walk to school is represented by four red segments, so you should have multiplied three by four to get 12. So the pie chart shows that 12 children walk to school. Well done if you've got that correct. This pie chart shows the different cupcakes sold by a bakery. The bakery sold 80 blueberry cupcakes. How many cupcakes did they sell altogether? Let's focus on the information that we know. We know that the bakery sold 80 blueberry cupcakes. This is represented by two blue segments. So to find the value of one segment, we do 80 divided by two. That's 40. So each segment represents 40 cupcakes. There are 12 segments altogether. So to solve the problem, we need to calculate 40 multiplied by 12. This is 480. So the bakery sold 480 cupcakes altogether. Now it's your turn. In the last year, Tim has spent 120 hours playing games on his tablet. How many hours did he spend on his tablet altogether? Pause the video and have a go. So let's go through the answer. Tim spent 120 hours playing games. This is represented by the three segments. From this, we can work out the value of each segment by dividing 120 by 3, and that's 40. There are seven segments in total, representing the total time that Tim spent on his tablet, so you should have done 40 times 7 to get 280. So in the last year, Tim spent 280 hours on his tablet. Remember. A pie chart is a type of graph where a circle is divided into segments that each represent a proportion of the whole. If all segments are equal, you can use division to find the value of each segment.